All right, let's factor some trinomials. Factoring a quadratic trinomial. Oh, it's just this quadratic with leading coefficient greater than one. And Alex said these are problem type number one. I know you have to do three types of these. I'm just going to go over two with you. First example I got is 3x squared plus 4x minus 4. It really depends on how you learn these factorings in Algebra 1, but I'm going to do what I do. I think these are sometimes called AC method. I will multiply this 3 to the last term, the C, which is negative 4. So if I rewrite my new trinomial, I get x squared plus 4x minus, if I multiply these two, 3 times 4 is 12, right? I did 3 times 12 and that's how I got this, I'm sorry, 3 times 4 and that's how I got this 12. Now I factor this. I know that 6 times 2 is 12. If I make 6 a positive, 2 a negative, they will not only multiply to be negative 12, but they will also add up to positive 4, which is that middle number right there. So I'm done factoring that trinomial. But at this point, I'm going to have to divide both of these numbers, 3 and 2, by 3. Why 3? Because I multiply by 3 in the very beginning. That's why. Now take a look. If it divides, for example, 6 can be divided by 3. Clean, right? 6 can be divided by 3. If it does, then you're going to just write it down. X plus 2, because 6 divided by 3 is 2. But I want you to look at this one. 2 cannot be divided by 3. If that happens, what you will do is you will bring that bottom up in front of the X. That's why maybe some, country, uh, some counties when I taught, they called it bottoms up method. So I'm going to have 3x minus 2. That is how you can factor this type of trinomial when the leading coefficient is greater than 1. Okay, let me give you one more example in this video, okay? Um, second example I have is 7x squared minus 13x minus 2. So I'll go ahead and start this by multiplying my 7 by this number 2. Okay? But remember, when you're done, you're going to divide by 7, okay? So I'll multiply 7 times 2. So my new trinomial is x squared minus 13x minus 14. And I got 14 by doing 7 times 2. And I'll factor this. 14 times 1 is 14. And if I make 14 a negative, 1 a positive, wouldn't they add up to negative 13, right? Now let's divide both the 14 and 1 by 7. Like I said, if it divides evenly, then you're going to divide. Like for example, 14 divided by 7 is totally 2. X minus 2. If it's a E, you know, integer, if it's like, if it divides evenly, then you're going to do that. But if you look at this, 1 cannot be divided by 7. So what I will do is I will bring that 7 up in front of the x. So if this 7 comes up in front of the x, uh, my other, my second factor is 7x plus 1. And you know, it's always a good practice for you to multiply this out, foil it out to see if it matches the original factor given. But I feel pretty confident about my work here, so I'll skip that for right now. But if you're taking a test, I really suggest that you multiply it out, foil it to see if it matches the original trinomial that you were given. So that is it for this topic called factoring a quadratic with leading coefficient greater than one. And this was problem type number one.